another Wednesday's unboxing right here in Two Gun Pixie. Now you know we drop a video every day of the week and every Wednesday you get to see a brand new unboxing. What's in the Pixie's box? <laughs> All right, make sure you got your torch bearer with you because we're heading down to the table. Legends Untold, The Great Sewers Novice Set. This is by Inspiring Games. Now this, this is only one half, so to speak. Two standalone games that are completely integratable together. That, when put together, tell one complete whole epic tale. That's, that's freaking amazing. Alright, well we, we got... We got the Great Sewers here, Novice Set. This was sent to us by Inspiring Games in order to, to do a series of showcases. Uh, unboxings, playthroughs, reviews, things like that. We are so, so excited about this. Um, just want to delve right into it. This looks really cool. Your people, the Sacks, have been driven out of their lands by the invasion of the newcomers, forced into retreat by these heavily armored elves and their powerful magic. You have managed to save those that you can, and gather them in the outskirts of the mighty city of Dun Mordain. In Legends Untold, one of four players take on the role of unlikely heroes, the final hope of a conquered people. Starting with only your wits and crude weapons, you will explore the great sewers, trying to gain access to the great free city of Dun Mordain. Inspired by adventuring books, RPGs, and fantasy board games, Legends Untold offers a deep adventuring experience that sets up in five minutes, has no player downtime, and can finish in an hour. Legends Untold can be played with up to eight players, provided you have two core sets. Ooh, well, let's take a look at one. We got one on hand, so let's take a look at one. Thank you very much, Fu Manchu, everyone. Fu Manchu. Now let's slide you over to safety, Fu. So everyone, you know what I say at this point, don't you? Always cut away from yourself, my friends. All right. Looks even better without the glare from that wrapping, doesn't it? Actually, really nice box. Very nice. I like the artwork on that too. Okay, let's let's see what this inspiring artwork is going to lead to. The Great Sewers book. So uh, I imagine this is for following a campaign style game. So therefore, I really don't want to show you too much. I'll just show you this first page. That's an introductory walkthrough scenario. Awesome, great way uh, to learn the rules. I understand, maybe I'm wrong, we'll find out. But I understand that actually the rules to this game are set up to learn while you play. Okay, I think that's enough. You've seen enough of that. Rule book. I love the size of these books, by the way. Can't stand those rule books that are like the size of albums. This is nice, fits in your hand so well. All right, the fighting with some giant spiders. Quick reverence, turn sequence, check that out. That's 
that's basically how the game is run, everyone. Mm -hmm. I like the way the rule book looks. Font's not too small. It looks like they have enough corresponding photos to show you what they're talking about. Okay. Looking forward to looking through that. Aha, uh -huh, the all important tokens and shits that we're going to need in the course of the game. Ah. All right, some basic six sided dice. All right, typical. Well, colored in pips. Ah, what a horrible opening roll. <laughs> I think. I don't know, that could have been an awesome roll. We have not looked at the rules yet, so we don't know. Mm. And two cards we added post production to our amended versions of cards in the game. Okay. So these will take precedence over the like cards that have mistakes on them, or this one anyway. If you haven't seen my gaming radar on this, uh, when you're moving through the game, you have to connect the different tile map pieces in such a way so that light areas, shaded areas, and dark areas uh, that you're coming from match what you're going into. That's really kind of cool. All right, so that's the fixed one. I'll have to find the bad one and take that out of the game. All right, let's see if we can get in here. All right, pretty cool. I like it when you have little like, cheat sheets of information on, on cards. But this is, this is something else that I had found interesting from the beginning of the game that, when I first found out about it, was you're not playing fighters and paladins and, and, and powerful clerics. You're playing pretty normal people. Look at this one. This has a performer, male or female, your choice to play, follower, gutter snipe, and laborer. And there are four different ones in the in the other set, the cave set. You know the map pieces. I'll have to keep an eye out for this one and. Uh, and replace it. That's the outlet corridors. Hmm. This is shadowed and shadowed right here. Nest. All right. Outlet corridors, outlet corridors. That's the same. That's the same. Doesn't have this mark on it. Numbers are the same. Looks like everything is the same. It looks like that is the mark that it missed. I'm going to take this out now. I don't have the right one in. I really dig the way this tile system is set up. I mean, we've all seen it, played it before, but I don't know, just the way the cards look and the way they, they're meant to uh, interconnect seems really cool. I think these are actually missions. So I don't want to give away too much. I want you to be able to see them all, right? So, you don't. <laughs> Turn sequence. I was saying before, I really do love rules on these cheat cards. Okay, so that 
leaves us the dented tray. Here we go. These sets of cards. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm thinking these are like dangers encounters or something. Let's see, uh, have the. Ooh, something's mixed up in there. Huh. Okay, let's take a look here. This side is that. Water pit. Wooden door. This takes forever to go through all of them, right? So we'll just go through some. Hidden cache. The sealed doorway. Ooh, the thick fly swarm. That sounds disgusting. A wisp. Ooh, like Willow the Wisp? Willow Wisp? A brownie hive. Oh, don't trust the brownies. Never eat them. No. Nah. <laughs> Trapped spirit. Sewer adder. Oh, great. They grow really big and eat sewer gators. Oh, a bile beast. Dripping grim. Disgusting. Lizardkin hatcher. Lizardkin watcher. Pop shroom. Bottle of rat repellent. That's cool. Old sewer torches. Smirk. Hmm. Oh, this one was also supposed to be replaced. But, okay, I'll look for that. The old trident. I'll look for that later. Unless it's in here, I don't know. There's a lot to go through. Let's find out. Okay, orator. Silver tongued. Rough upbringing. This is a hooligan. Educated. Acrobat. Fay companion. Oh, that's cool. Solid. Hunter. Leverage. Aggression. A rough bow. A rough spear. A rough staff. Crude pole arm. Hmm, performance clothes. A goo. Major flood, rush of water, Ew, sewer gas, barrel blockade, collapsed tunnel, minor sluice, portacles, solid wooden door. Ooh, nice. I have to go through all these, but for right now, that is what we were looking at, huh? Very cool. I am very excited to play this. Not just to play this uh, game as is, but I'm also really excited to run uh, through the campaign. Hmm, maybe that's something we could do uh, through a series of live playthroughs. And I gotta put this one away too, because that's the proper one. Alright, so from unboxing to reboxing of Legends Untold. Oh, the dice! The dice! How did I forget the dice? Oh no! We'll never be able to roll again! Okay. Uh, that works. <laughs> Alright, my friends, all seriousness. This looks like a fun game. Can't wait to play it. Can't wait to show it off! Alright, everyone, so I'm your buddy, Big Giant G, the Two Gun Fixer Presents. Legendary Gaming, and my friends, I am...